Hi everybody, it's Carol with Refunction Crafts. I just want to show you this is what we're going to be doing in this video today. I'm going to provide you with a tutorial on how to make these beautiful shimmering butterfly magnets. Um, this is something I recently came up with and um, or actually I came up with it uh, last night and I uh, hope you guys will enjoy this tutorial. This has been a really fun project and um, just so that you know I will have a, um, kits available in my Etsy shop if you're interested in making your own. So these are the ones that I have made. These will be going for sale in my Etsy store. Um, and then after that it will just be the kits that will be available for you to, to buy if you're interested in making your own. So anyway, um, sit back, relax, and um, hopefully you will enjoy this tutorial. And we're going to get started right now. Hi guys, it's Carol with Refunction Crafts. Um, I'm going to bring you a video today on how to make these beautiful... Um, butterflies um, and the way that I'm doing them is um, with these wooden filigree butterflies and unfortunately this style I can no longer get. These are really filigreed and um, what I'm getting now are these butterflies which are really pretty too. These are also wooden butterflies and I'm going to be putting kits in my um, Etsy shop for these because I thought these would be something really fun for people to do. And I'm turning them into refrigerator magnets. So um, these would make really, really cool gifts um, for people at Christmas. Um, so anyway, I thought I'd show you guys how I do them. And I'll put some kits in my store so that if you want to make them... Um, based on the stuff that I have for you that is wonderful and I've got them in different colors I'm going to show you the butterflies um, here shortly that I'm buying um, look at how pretty these are though and then I've got these I just love these and you can see when you look from the side they are 3D because um, once I show you what I'm doing with these, you'll, you'll sort of get it and the butterflies that I have. <coughs> um, so anyway, this is what we're going to be making today and it's going to be super fun and I hope you guys stay tuned and watch this video um, so that you can make them yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick these up and put them aside and we'll just lay those over here out of the way and these are some of the other items that I'm going to be using I'm going to be using E6000 adhesive I've got my scissors this is a torch so you can use a torch um, this is probably the best thing to use I get this at one of my little dollar stores that's local to me it's not a Dollar Tree or a 99 cent store it's called something else but they sell these little torches for like two dollars and ninety nine cents and they're super cool and they work really really well um, to uh, do projects that require uh, torching so um, and then I've got some of my flat back pearls and um, these here are flat back rhinestones that I'm going to be using on these and we have some different sized magnets. Um, this is the size that I generally use um, these magnets. These are a little bit bigger. Um, these I would use if I was using uh, a much bigger butterfly. And I may actually show you guys, I have another thing that I'm planning on trying to do that I will use bigger butterflies than these. Um, and they come out pretty awesome too. So anyway. Um, let me show you really quick. These are the butterflies that I'm going to be using. And what I did was I was able to buy these packages of these butterflies. Look at all of those. There's 32 pieces in each package. So we've got your just your orange sort of monarch butterfly. Here's some pink ones. 
and they have some of them have a little bit of gold shimmer here's some blue and green ones and then these are just sort of cream colored and brown butterflies but we're going to be using some <coughs> Um, from a couple of these packages today um, so that you can kind of see the difference between the different colors um, so what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using these these butterflies and when I buy them this is what they look like so actually these ones have already been torched and I'm going to set those two aside and I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to show you real quickly how I torch these and turn them dark. So we're just going to kind of light our torch and we're just going to kind of go around this and lightly get the edges. Now my husband said he thought I went a little too dark with some of them. So I think I'm going to go a little bit lighter with these that I'm doing right now. than I did on the other ones and I'll show you the difference once I get them once I get them going okay so we'll put that down and that's what that one looks like it's just lightly torched and this is what one of my other ones looks like that I torched quite a bit so we'll see um, I think what I'll do is I'll put that one aside and I, I'll do one of each I'll do a light one and a dark one and that way you guys can kind of see um, because if you t if you decide to buy a kit in my Etsy shop, then you'll know kind of what you want to do with yours. Um, I don't know how well a regular lighter would work. You could probably use that on this or possibly a candle. But you have to be really careful because it is wood and it will um, go up if you get too much heat going at one time. So um, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take out some bits and pieces from these packages and I wish I had done that ahead of time. I just wasn't thinking. Um, but see this is with these cream colored ones this is all the butterflies that you get in the package and I'm going to pull a few of these out to use because there's some that I know I definitely want to use in these. Now I wouldn't want to go with anything this big. These are too big. And look at if they've even got some really big ones here that are just gorgeous. I love, love, love these butterflies. So I'm just going to take a few and put them aside here um, that I know I definitely want to use um, because they're a little bit smaller. Well, we don't need that many of any one certain style. We'll use one of those. Um, so, okay. So I'm going to put these back in the container. And then I'll get some of another uh, couple of the colors. And we'll start putting these, piecing these together. I really wish I had done this part ahead of time. Because now I kind of feel like I'm wasting a little bit of time. I think we'll go with maybe a little bit of blue. And let's see, we've got that. We've got that. Um, and I think that's all we'll pull out of that one. And then I'm going to go with some of these um, orange monarch colors. And let's see, we've got that beauty. And that one. And we've got that color. And I'm giving myself some choices. We're probably not going to use all of these, um, but I am giving myself some choices here. Of different colors so that I can kind of decide where I want to go with these um, as I go so and then we've got some pink here again I don't know where I'm gonna go with this so I'll just grab a couple of pink ones and uh, I think I'll just kind of leave it at that this is another pink one okay Sorry about the noise, you guys. No more noise. Um, 
Okay, so here we've got we've got a whole bunch of different colors. Those are pinks. These are from the orange and yellow monarch colors. We've got some blue green. And then we've got a bunch of these. These um, cream colored and gold ones are some of my favorite to work with because you can kind of blend them into any of the other colors and use them. So these are the ones that I'm going to be picking from. And so what you want to do, the first thing you want to do, I'm going to kind of push these out of the way and keep them in little stacks here of like butterflies. And I'm going to say I'm sorry ahead of time if my dog barks. Somebody was honking their horn outside. So um, so these are the pinks. And we have the blues. And we're going to get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is on this first one, I think I'm going to use this butterfly on the bottom. So all I really want to do, I'm going to leave these flat for now. I'm going to use my Gorilla Hot Glue. And I'm going to take and stream glue only down the center of the butterfly. Don't get it on the whole butterfly. Uh, actually, on this bottom one, it doesn't matter. You can, you can glue the whole butterfly down because I really want that first butterfly to stay down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a dot of glue under each wing. Whoops, got it stuck to my hand there. Oops. Okay. And there we go. Okay, so that one's glued down. And then the next thing we're going to do, um, deciding which color scheme we're going to use, um, I think I'm going to kind of go with Maybe we'll put a green one next, this green one, or do we want to go with that one? Let's see. Let me decide. I think I'm going to go with that one. So we're going to, again, we're going to just take our glue, go down the middle of the butterfly, and Tack it down in the middle. Don't put any glue on the outer edges of the butterfly this time. And then we're going to take and we're going to use this one, which is really pretty, to just kind of add another uh, layer of color. And we're going to tack that one down. So now we have three butterflies on here. And then for, let's see, for the last one, I think we're going to use this cream colored butterfly with the gold on it. And again, we're putting glue down the center of the butterfly and we're just going to tack that little guy down. And so right now it doesn't look my, like much of anything. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set this one aside. And now we're going to do the darker butterfly and I think what I forgot to do with this one is to get a bigger butterfly to put down on the base. So let's see, what do we want to go with? Okay, we're going to use a pink one. Okay, so what I'm going to do again with this one is I'm actually going to, I'm going to put some glue around this one because I want it to stick to the butterfly um, all the way around because that bottom one needs to be your base for the butterfly. So we've got that one on there and then next I'm going to go with one of these I think or maybe let's see yeah, I think we're going to go with this one here. And what I will do in these kits is I'm going to I'm going to include four or five butterflies with each kit, with each butterfly that that you can make. Um 
and then you can decide how many layers you want because some of them I've only used three, some I've used four. Um, for me personally, I think, let's see, this one here has three butterflies on it. This one here, let's see, here's another one. This one has four. So it just kind of depends on which way you want to go. Um, either way, they're super pretty. So this one now, we have three on here. And I think we'll add this one as our fourth butterfly. Let's see, do we want this one or do we want... No, we're going to add this one. I kind of like having these little cream colored ones on top and I, I just because it it kind of tones the whole thing down once you're done. Okay, so you saw how quickly I was able to put these together. Um, the next thing that I want to do, and I have not colored the backs of these, I just left them be. I'm going to take and put a magnet on each one of these and the only the only thing you need to do to um, put those magnets on is we're going to use a little dot of E6000 and we're going to put that dot right there you don't need a lot of E6000 um, and then we're going to take a dot of hot glue and we're going to press that down onto the butterfly a dot of hot glue and press it down onto the butterfly. And don't worry if you get a little bit of glue ooze on the back of this. It's the back side of the butterfly and it's not going to matter that much, so don't worry too much about that. Um, and you can clean it up after the fact, after it dries. So these are the two butterflies that we have now. And the reason, just so that you know, that I used E6000 and hot glue on these, the E6000 is what's going to hold that magnet down forever, and the hot glue is going to hold it down for now. Um, so the glue, the hot glue will um, will cure quick and stick to the project and keep it in place until the E6000 has time to get dry. So the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to take each each set of butterfly wings and we're just going to fold them up, just like I'm doing here. So this one has four sets of butterfly wings. And then I'm going to take this side and I'm going to do the same thing. One, two, three. And we're going to leave that bottom one laying down. We don't want to touch that one. And so that's what I have. And I hope you guys can see how really, really pretty these are. Um, the next thing, we're going to go ahead and do that to this one as well. One two, three, and the bottom one is the fourth butterfly. And we're going to turn it and we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Okay. And so now we have another butterfly. And then we're going to take, um, let's see, we're just going to use these rhinestones and a couple of these flat back pearls and let me just pick a few of these out of here hopefully I can get the right sizes I'm gonna lay the flat backs over here and try and get them to flip over a little bit so that we get four of them okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our um, my handy dandy um, rhinestone picker and this is one that I made myself with candle wax and a toothpick and I do have a video out on how to make these I was going to send them out with some of my um, projects and and kits but then I figured out that if I do that if for some reason they get warm and they melt in the packing I didn't want you guys to get something that was no good or not usable I do package them up um, so that they're in a baggie and they wouldn't get all over everything else. But I still think it's better if you just learn how to make your own and um, use your own. <laughs> I don't want to be the cause of anything getting messed up. Um, so anyway, what we're going to do 
is we're going to put rhinestones in the center of these butterflies and I'm going to put two rhinestones on each one here and also I'm going to put flat back pearls on the tips of the antlers so I'm going to just go ahead and put that E6000 on there too and we're going to put our lid back take our handy dandy tool right here and the first thing that I will do I think is to put these on the antlers and that's a matching size and you can use any size you want on these and in the kits I will also include um, two of the flat back matching size pearls uh, for each butterfly and this is a smaller sized flat back pearl just so that you can see the difference between the two it really doesn't matter either either size that you go with they both sizes look really cool um, and then we're going to take these flat back rhinestones and this you'll see that this picker works really really well it actually works better than the pickers that I have paid good money for um, it picks up my rhinestones that easy it doesn't drop them constantly and works like a charm <laughs> so um, there we go we've got our rhinestones down let me make sure they're centered and there you have it you've got two finished butterflies let me try and get these in the light so you can see them You guys, I'm trying to get this the right direction. Okay, there we go. Okay, so you can see from the sides, this is what you've got. They're just sort of layered in there. And another thing that you could do is you could take um, and, and add a little bit of triple thick and diamond dust. And in fact, I have some new triple thick, so maybe I'll just show you that really, really quick. Um, Let's see, I have a little cup here, so I'm going to squeeze a tiny bit. It hasn't been opened yet, so let me take off the little plug. And since we're still good on time with this video, another two or three minutes won't kill us. Um, okay, so there's our triple thick. I'm going to take... Um, let's see, do I have a brush over here? I know I've got one. I'm going to take this brush and I'm just going to brush on, uh, maybe we'll do it to both of these. I'm going to brush on a little bit of triple thick here, just kind of in the center of this butterfly. And maybe on the tips of these wings. And a little bit here on this guy. I think I'm going to kind of go over the gold a little bit. Oopsies. Okay, and then real quick, we'll put some on this one. As you guys have already seen the other ones that I did not do this to, so we might as well do two um, that have the diamond dust on them so that you can see the difference. So if you want to take yours and add a little diamond dust if you've got some diamond dust hanging around the house um, for your crafting you can do that and um, add that little bit of sparkle to your um, butterflies so okay we've got that I'm gonna get my diamond dust here and I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of this around the top of these butterflies where I've added that, that uh, 
triple thick so we're not going to go too heavy with the diamond dust on these just a little sprinkle will do ya Okay, and actually, ha -ha, I think I may be adding diamond dust to the rest of my butterflies. <laughs> and maybe I will actually add some into those kits. I am running very low on diamond dust, but if you guys can see the sparkle on these now, OMG, you're all going to want diamond dust with your kits, I'm sure. So look at that. Oh my goodness, they are gorgeous. So that's how you do it, guys. These are um, one and done, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and hopefully maybe you'll try out my kits and see if that's something that you would like to make uh, maybe as Christmas gifts for friends and family. Again, these are refrigerator magnets, and um, I'm super, super excited about these um, butterflies. So anyway, have a wonderful blessed day and thanks for watching. If you're not already a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so that you can get notified when I do future videos. Have a really blessed day and it's been great doing this tutorial for y'all. Bye-bye.